way that he's going to beat this is he's got to drag it out to the election, um, either win and pardon himself or one of the other presidents uh, pardons him. You think RFK would par- pardon him? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think he would, but I, I just don't think RFK has any chance. I think Biden's got it locked up on the yeah. Dem side. You on know? the low, I like RFK a lot. I've been watching his interviews. He's against Big Pharma, which I like. Um, he's pretty based. He knows that they there was a conspiracy to kill his uncle, which we'll talk about on the <laughs> on Rumble. Um, and it wasn't just the mafia. Um, and yeah, I, he's he's not a typical um, Democrat, but yeah, I agree with you. There's no way he's fucking winning, bro. Yeah, well, no and way. and here's the other thing. I I don't think he's as good as everybody says. I I like what you like, which is that he talks about. I don't know how much we get say on YouTube, but he does talk about Big Pharma. And he talks about these COVID interventions. Yeah. I can't see a whole lot more, though, that I like. I mean, I think at one point he was talking about, like, fining people that deny climate change and these kinds of things. Very socially liberal. At the end of the day, he is a Democrat. I mean, I I get the appeal. He's intelligent. He's well-spoken. He's anti-establishment. His voice is going to piss a lot of people off, too. Yeah, too. You have to get, yeah, if you guys (laughs) ever listen to him talk, he has, like, a, a, a condition that, like, makes his voice sound very shaky or whatever. And... As a president of the United States, image matters a lot. And they're going to be like, oh, well, you sound weird or whatever. He's very sh- smart, but like it, you, it takes a while to – it's like uh, whiskey. It grows on you. you got to drink more of it, I guess, to get used to it. Um, but, yeah, and then the other thing, too, is that he wants to go back to like the United States being like the moral authority. I don't think we should be intervening in other countries, right, mm, because then yeah. fucking bullshit. But, yeah. Um, mm. Sorry, you had anything else with that? Yeah, no, just I'm, – I'm not as gung-ho. I – like I said, I like the things you like, but I think people are a little too enthusiastic for him. We need to demand, in other words, like I think he represents this strain of compromise between the far right and far left that isn't super useful. Mm. He reminds me of like a Glenn Greenwald or like a Tulsi Gabbard type. And a lot of these people, what they have in common is they'll criticize a big pharma. They'll that's, no, no, you're right. That's yeah. actually that's probably one of the most accurate um summarizations i've seen of like where he stands yeah and and i think that um it's overstated how valuable that is because the premise of this show and shows like it is that we really need a real return to tradition like when you talk about masculinity and women being submissive and marriage and reverting to religions that seems to be everybody's doing that that is what civilization needs it needs strength order tradition masculinity and what i see these guys bringing forward is basically like liberalism but less corrupt. They're like, we want to go back to like 90s liberalism. And it's like 90s liberalism brought us today's liberalism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And like, it's still liberal. So uh, to me, it's just not good enough. And it's a step in the right direction. But I don't think that we should settle for that. It's a form of appeasement. We need a real right wing reactionary movement. Okay. 